Coming off an emotional role in The Bear, Molly Gordon is setting her sights on something a bit lighter this summer in her new movie, Theater Camp. She plays Rebecca Diane, a musical director who must band together with her staff to keep the camp afloat. Take a look. I'm so grateful that you are all here to bravely choose to get better. Now we're gonna do a little bit of an exercise to just strengthen our mouths. I was with Al Gore by the old cheese store and he brought his own bags from the ocean floor. Wolf Blitzer has a blister on his upper lip. <laughs> and co-director, co-writer, and star of Theater Camp Molly joins us now. Welcome, it's so good to see you. Thank you for having me. We were just talking about how people think that this is actually crazy, but. Theater camp is like this. It this really is, real. is. Yeah. So this started as a short film. Mm -hmm. When did you know that you wanted to make it bigger? What was the process like turning it into a feature? We, after we made it, we knew we had something. And then it took about six years to just convince anyone to give us any money to do it. Um, to say we wanted to make a mostly improvised movie with children. They were like, absolutely not. I and know. I said, totally fine. And so we just kept trying. And finally, we found people that were happy to do it with us. Perseverance. Yes. So this, you just mentioned it was improvised. 90% of this was improvised. So how does that process work? Like you just said, this is our motivation for this scene. So just go. Yeah, it, we had a really um, tight scriptment where everything was beaded out exactly what was going to happen in the story, but then all the lines were improvised. So it really gives you freedom to just say wild things like I just said in that clip. Um, and I, as an actor, I've worked you know, on things that are scripted, but you always have a little time to improvise. So I always just had this dream of what if the whole movie was that little time to improvise. Yeah, and, and music plays a big part in this, as theater camp would. And so I love even more the songs that you wrote because most of them are probably improvised. Did you have any inspiration for these songs? How did you come up with them? I think we just loved the idea that they were completely ridiculous, but also really beautiful and heartfelt. And I mean, obviously, like, we tried to do anything that could be similar to Sondheim, but we failed in any way. But he is always the, the kind of god for us. Yeah. Well, you made this with so many of your actual friends, which I love. Um, and the home videos that are going throughout this, it's really you and Ben Platt, right? Because I'm like, that looks like them as kids. No, we paid a hundred million dollars to have those made. No, there are real clips. They're mostly for our parents. Um, but no, it's really special that Ben and I get to show our like real relationship and then heighten it and make yes. it really crazy as well. But you're also lucky that your parents kept those because we have nothing from when I was a child. Oh, no. Yeah, that was nice of them. Um, one reuni reunion we were not expecting was uh, with, I want to say her name right, Io. A Debris. A Debris, yes. who I love. She's on the bear with you. How long have you guys been friends? We've been friends for like four or five years now, and um, I just love her so much. She is so funny and brilliant, and she, I met her through my friend Rachel Sennett, and getting to work with her on the bear and have her in my film is like a pinch me moment, yeah. and I love that on the bear she plays a very smart driven character and in our movie she complete she plays yeah, a Luna she, tune. Looney she does, tune. Yeah, she yeah. does. Um, so speaking of the bear I'm obsessed a lot of people are obsessed with this show um, were you a fan before you came on the show oh, the biggest fan yeah so season two everyone was rooting for Claire and Carmi but you I heard that you said that you were glad that she walked away in the end the, I, I need to set the record straight because <laughs> I was <laughs> gonna say no say, I say it isn't so yeah no I was just happy that she left that situation I really hope that they have another conversation <laughs> and um, can find their way. But more than anything, I just want Carmi to have happiness, whatever that means for him. Me too. I think like, there's like common themes in the two of those uh, sh shows too about having it all. So if you haven't seen one, you should watch them both. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you. And you can catch Theater Camp in theaters this Friday and season two of F FX's The Bear is now streaming exclusively on Hulu. So good to see you. Thanks so much for coming.